I was once what told you that I could not make it, achieve my dreams, or ever like? be anybody. I was actually told what that would I would like be a to statistic. No what, how would you really enjoy spending Welcome to Reinvention Tuesday. Alright, baby, thanks for tuning in for another week of motivation and inspiration. This week, we got a special message for you. But we gonna, this is what we have for you. Because people have been asking, what is Reinvention Tuesday? How do I get involved? So this is the first step. Hit the like button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Second thing is this. For the next three weeks, we're going to roll out a video segment based on the theme of what do I decide? What do I decide? That is a quote by Alan Watts. He says, what do I decide? So the first week, we're going to focus on this topic. Prayer and understanding your purpose. Once again, pray and understand your purpose, okay? So the first thing is this. What is a desire? A desire is a longing and a craving. It's a hunger, a need for something in your life, okay? So if you're hungry for something, that means that you have been hungry before and you, you want something to eat. You go get something to eat. So it's the same thing with your life. When it pertains to your life and your dreams, you got to be hungry. When it pertains to your desires, you got to be hungry. You got to crave for it. So the first thing, like we said, we're focusing on prayer and understanding your purpose. So when it comes to praying, when it comes to praying, this is what prayer is. Prayer is a plea. Prayer is a plea. It's a demand. So what you have to do is, it doesn't matter what your religion is, everybody can have a prayer. Everybody can have a prayer. Why? Because you got to make a plea over your life. You got to make a statement about your life. You got to make a declaration. Because when you make a plea, it's just like the courtroom. You're saying, I'm guilty or I am not guilty. Okay? So when you make this plea for your life, you have to say, oh, I want to go to college. Or I want my family situation to improve. I want to find somebody who will love me for me. I want to be in a relationship that will uplift me, build me up as a person. Because you don't need to be with nobody or be involved in any relationship that's going to bring you down to a lower level. So the first thing is you got to make that statement. You got to make that declaration. You got to make that plea over your life. So start by making a request. That's prayer. The second thing is this. Understanding your purpose. Understanding the purpose for your life, right? So what is understanding? Understanding the purpose, right? So in order to understand the purpose, you have to first understand. In order to understand the purpose, you have to first understand. What do I mean when I say that? Okay, think about this. I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes and think about this. When I understand my purpose, I understand what I what, what the existence of me is is all about. I have to identify or relate to the thing that pertains to my life. I have to relate to that purpose. So if I'm supposed to be a lawyer, for example, I have to be able to identify with the things that it takes to become a lawyer. If I'm supposed to be a doctor or a nurse, I have to identify with those things that I need to do to become a doctor or a nurse. Once again, you have to understand before you understand the purpose. In order to understand, you have to do what? You have to be able to identify with. You have to be able to relate to. You have to be able to grasp your arms around it. You have to clutch on to it. Because once you clutch on to it and grab it and take a hold of it, it's like hanging on a rope. When you run out of rope, you tie another knot in it. You keep on climbing. That's what understanding the purpose is all about. You got to keep climbing. It ain't going to rain forever in your life. It's not going to rain forever in your life. But I tell you what, if you continue to head in the direction that you're going and do not decide to change it, you will not find out what your purpose is. But so the first thing was the prayer. You got to make a statement. You got to make a plea. The second thing is this. You have to understand the purpose. But before you understand the purpose, you have to understand so you got to identify with the thing that you're trying to wrap your arm around. You got to grab onto it. Hold on to it for dear health. Continue to tie those knots because you got to understand your purpose. And the last thing is this. You got to continue to walk into your destiny. Walk into the thing that you are designed to do. 
You got to walk until you got to have faith. You got to be strong. And you got to understand where you're going. Because it matters not how straight the gate. It matters not how charged with punishment the scroll. You are the master of your faith. You're the captain of your soul. Remember, you are what you repeatedly do. If you say you are a loser, you are a loser. It's the law of attraction. If you say I am a conqueror, I am a conqueror. You are a conqueror. So believe in yourself. And no matter what is going on in your life, keep the faith. Stay motivated. Because I want all of my opportunities. Remember we said that? I want all of my opportunities here. And I want all of those opportunities now. So three important words. All here and now. Apply those things to your life. Find out what your purpose is. Next week we will continue on what it is I desire. Find out your purpose today. Reinvention Tuesdays. Anything you can be interested in, you'll find others along. But it's absolutely stupid. Spend your time doing things you don't like.